This lady uh, texting and driving. Yeah, that's messed up. She's not even on autopilot. What are the chances of this? The bathrooms are closed for 15 to 20 minutes. All right, guys, we're leaving the supercharger and we got 200 feet to Sullivan Trail. <laughs> Where, where's, where's my chocolate? Um, it's in the back. But I'll give it to you later. after we're done recording. Oh my goodness. And the car would only have 7% right. left. Yeah. yeah, that's the other thing is we'd be cutting it real close on range. All right, so we're leaving. This is part two. Um, we're heading away from the hotel. New York was super fun. Uh, we had a lot of fun walking around there. We saw a lot of cool stuff. Um, I don't know, it's, it's not our kind of thing because that's why we live in the woods <laughs> because like we're not really into the city. But I did really enjoy going there actually. I could never imagine living there. It was cool for the day. Yes. Or even a couple days because there's just so much to see. But yeah, it would be hard to live there for us because we're not used to it. But it's amazing like seeing the people that live there and how they get around. Glad we didn't drive in there though. Oh my gosh, that was insanity. We are starting with 56% battery, so we parked with 71% and we didn't use the car, we didn't charge it or do anything. We just let it sit there and it lost a lot because of sentry mode. And I knew we were only there for a couple days, so I just left it on. But so for now, we're just gonna use, um, here's our route, and we're just gonna use Tesla's navigation. Um, I did use a better route planner uh, that's a different website. Um, I did use that to plan a route and it was similar to this. It did give us one more stop um, But for now, we're just gonna do this and I don't know everything just kind of works out so easily I just don't even think as much about it. You know the first road trip I was kind of working out all the details and getting everything perfect and now it's like eh, whatever it just let's just go I used the hotels ice machine to fill our cooler with ice uh, So that worked out really nicely so we have a nice full cooler again. And we're gonna just stop for some food a couple times while we charge and that'll be that. Super, super easy. And then, oh my gosh, why am I driving? There, I just didn't even think. First stop. Oh, look at that. Wow, this is a weird setup. <laughs> so there's one other Tesla here. Oh, I gotta like go around? What? Okay. Uh, Tannersville. Uh, where are we? Pennsylvania. So at this point, if we continued on, we'd have negative 56%. So we'll charge up for a bit. We'll aim, as always, to get there with 15%. This charger originally predicted we'd be here with 17% was the original prediction. I don't remember, but we're here with 20, so more than enough. This stop is really only, what the heck? This is the weirdest thing I've ever seen. Um, oh my gosh, there's three right there. I don't even know what to do. So this one's at kind of a strip mall thing, not the most convenient. So we stopped at McDonald's first and got breakfast. And that's it. So we ramped up, we're at 120 kilowatts. I don't think this supercharger has been updated um, to go 150, so we're kind of at the limit here. But still, the difference isn't all that big. It's a 35 minute charge here. Yeah, I guess that's right. That doesn't seem right to me. I thought it was gonna be shorter. I'll put up a screenshot of our other route. Um, yeah, so a better route planner had us going to Bloomsburg before Falls Creek. Um, so this charge would be a lot shorter. So do you want to do that? We would only need to charge to 43%. Oh, how long is it to Falls Creek from here? A little over three hours. Yeah, three hours. And Bloomsburg would be? Bloomsburg would probably, is like an hour. This is faster to do it this way than that way. Overall. Well, That's the point of a better route planner. Oh. Because as this approaches, it's so at 30, it wants us to charge for 35 minutes. So as the battery gets higher, the charge slows down. Oh, okay. So the point is you you always want to be charging somewhere in this range for the okay. fastest well, charging time. Sure. Don't ask me then. I don't know anything. All right. 
We'll listen to a better route planner. We'll just navigate to Bloomsburg on our own after this. So a better route planner had a stopping here too? Mm -hmm. Alright guys, we're leaving the supercharger and we got 200 feet to Sullivan Trail <laughs> and we're going, we, our stats are... <laughs> the windshield wipers. <laughs> Uh, we're 43% charged. Cost us $2.16, but not really. We got 734.9 miles, 204 kilo, kilowatt hours, mm -hmm. and 277. This is the whole trip since we left Michigan, though. Oh, God, wrong way. We're in Pennsylvania, <laughs> and we're going to. What am I supposed to say? Um, tell them how the how long we were charging. We charged for like 10 minutes. Yeah, less than that, I think. It was really fast. I had enough time to eat a piece of chocolate. We opted to go to the next supercharger, which is only like an hour away, because we'll probably have to stop to go to the bathroom anyway. Chris got a big coffee, so. <laughs> and then we won't have to charge as long. It'll just be like a little quick stop. It's good to stretch your legs and stuff. <laughs> All right, pulling up to stop number two, okay. which is it's my job now. Oh, okay. All right, guys, we're pulling up to supercharger number two. Are you mocking me? No. And this is this is uh, we've been here before, and look, we've got a red a red. because of the bush um and this is where we met um our good old friend jim the other day yep and it was pouring down rain it's a lot nicer today and we're gonna charge up and we're gonna go into this gas station because ruby tuesdays is closed right now and we got 801.6 miles 220 whatever go ahead so this was this supercharger kind of sucks because it's ruby tuesday but it's closed so let me plug in. Um, so this supercharger is kind of annoying because it Ruby Tuesday's here, but they don't open until 11 and it's 10:15. Uh, but luckily, there's a gas station, like right there. This building. Uh, this is really hard to do. <laughs> there. <laughs> Thank you. So there's a gas station right there. Um, so we're just gonna walk to it and use the bathroom there. Uh, and I want some gum, so I'm gonna buy some gum. And then. Um, this stop is 22 minutes. I kind of want to watch Netflix again, though. Okay, well, we'll have time to watch like 10 minutes of El Camino. <laughs> what are the chances of this? Bathrooms are closed for 15 to 20 minutes. I guess that could happen anywhere. We're technically at a gas station, so. Okay, so that gas station's actually like really close. Supercharger's right there, and there's a lot more people now. Um, but the bathroom was closed for cleaning, which is like, what the heck are the chances? But, um, it was just for a minute. We went and bought some gum and stuff, and then it was open by then. So we're going to go back, watch Netflix for probably 10 minutes or something, right? Yep. Uh, and then we'll be off. I'm talking about going to this. <laughs> and we are off. We watched El Camino for just a few minutes, um, but it's still a lot of fun. I'm really appreciating that update now. It's just so nice and comfortable in here, and then hang out for a few minutes and continue on. It's just so nice to have the brakes in between all the driving. I don't know, I really like it. So we have only a couple hours till our next stop. And again, it's my preferred, I don't know if you agree, but I kind of prefer having the stops. Yeah, it makes it less stressful, like thinking, oh, I have to go to the bathroom. Can I make it to the next one? Or like, cause we know they're coming quickly enough. All right, and it's just it's just nice to have a break. I don't know. I, I really enjoy this like style of road trip. I, I realize it's not for everybody, but I prefer it. What I did while we were charging 
I just put my phone in the little phone charging area um, with the Tesla app up, and then I can see what percent the battery is at uh, while we watch the movie, and then right when it hits, you know, your percent that you need to continue on, you can just unplug and go. You don't have to do anything special with Netflix or whatever. You just put it in drive and it'll go away. Um, and that's it. You're just off on the road again. So here's a situation where paying attention to your uh, efficiency is can, can be helpful. So 320 watt hours per mile is pretty high. It means we're using a lot of energy. The lower this number is, the farther you'll go on a charge. Well, when we started this journey, we, we planned to get there with 15%, but this was actually guessing 17 or 18%, and now it's saying 14. So we're actually dropping in range. And the reason that is, is because it's really windy out, um, and we're probably going against the wind. I've been hearing a lot of wind. I'm feeling the car getting pushed around and stuff. And so that's causing us to use more energy to go the same speed. So if I was planning to roll in here with 5%, we'd be cutting it really close. But since we always do 10 to 15%, it's still not really a worry. Um, now, if I had left the last charger too early, you can see here, right on our route, on the way, is another supercharger. So again, there's no emergencies, even if this said we weren't gonna make it, we would just go to this supercharger for a few minutes and then we'd be able to make it uh, all the way to our next one. All right, we're back in Falls Creek for stop number three, which was stop number two last time. Uh, we're coming in way less, 12% than predicted. Uh, there was tons of wind, you can see, using a lot of energy the whole time. Um, so that's why, you know, it's always good to have a little extra. Remember, don't go in the truck entrance. Yes, that's where we went last time, in there. And then there's a wall. And then the chargers are way in the back. But it's not raining, so we don't care. Right, the weather is a lot nicer. So this is a much more fun stop. Model X. Okay, so let's take the same stall. Bring up our stats. I have no idea what we have to do here. Okay, so Falls Creek, we need to get to 84%. This is a 29 minute stop. So our next one is Strongsville, Ohio. Okay, so next we're going to Strongsville. We need 84% to leave here. And then Strongsville is our longest one. It is 31 minutes. How long is it going to take us to get to Strongsville? Two hours and 43 minutes. Oh, okay. That's not bad. Um, and then we actually, if we wanted, I was thinking we do have one other option. Instead of, this would probably make it take a little longer. But instead of staying in Strongsville for a super long time and then going all the way home, because um, I said I was okay getting home with 10%, um, we could stop... Uh, somewhere around here. So we could go here and only charge for a little bit instead of 31 minutes And then we could stop somewhere around here and charge for a little bit and then go home um, But I guess we can see how we feel mm -hmm. It might be nice to get home with more than 10% only because our supercharging is free So might as well take advantage, you know, and not have to charge as much at home um, But even if we got home with, you know, like 0% Let's say 5% it would cost us about six dollars to go all the way to 100% so it's pretty cheap Which is? Just get me the same thing. So this is the worst part for you is you just keep buying stuff like this. So that there goes our fuel money. It's not quite that expensive, but uh, it's also not that good for you. It's good for your soul. And we are off. We have our 84% uh, going to Strongsville, Ohio next and just enjoying the journey. I'm 
I messed up. Messed up what? You told me not to drink all that coffee. <laughs> well, we have an hour and that's a long time, so if you gotta go, we should just go. <laughs> Let's see, can I go straight? Yeah. Sweet. All right, this is a person stop, not a car stop. Oh. This is a weird Tiny. thing. Tiny. <gasps> oh, jeez. So, this is my fault. Nothing to do with the car. Oh, man. All right. He drank that whole coffee so fast. Yeah. I knew he wouldn't make it. Point two seconds. All right. We only wasted a couple minutes. Very fast. And we can continue back on the road. On the road again. Thank you. Here we are back in Strongsville, Ohio. I think this is my favorite supercharger. What about you? I would agree. Yeah, it's just really nice. Like Sheets is nice and the superchargers are in a good spot, and I don't know. I just, for some reason, I really like this one. Um, it's better than the one by us, because the one by our house is at a mire, and you gotta walk kind of far to get anywhere. Um, so we're pulling in once again with three extra percent. So I'm thinking we should just plan to have 10% in every stop, especially since it's not like the middle of winter or anything. Um, you know that this happened on our last road trip too, so we should have known better. Right, I know. And Look, there's still a line for oh air. Oh my gosh, that's the craziest thing. Why? Why is that? I've I don't never know. seen that before. It's only here at this spot. Yeah. Um, and again, we got only one buddy. That's it. I want to be next to the end, because okay, then so we'll... you're not doing every other. I am every other. What are you talking about? Because there's two spaces. Well, yeah, but I'm, we're not on the same. It doesn't oh, matter. but if somebody else had to come, okay, they're leaving. <laughs> I was gonna say, if someone else had to come, did you see what he had hanging from his mirror? It was like a guy with his legs and arms spread out like. <laughs> okay, so this supercharger, we need to get to 87%. Um, and then we'll go all the way home from here. So, our other option is to just charge a bit and stop somewhere else, but I think I'm fine just going home after this, right? Yep, as long as you don't drink too much. <laughs> yeah, I will avoid that this time. Um, so we'll be here for about a half hour, and then we're done. We're going home straight from here. Maybe we'll stream. You want a live stream? Maybe. Look at this. There's a big pile of ice over here. We could fill the cooler for free. Still nobody. We got some food. And I assume we're going to watch Netflix again. All right, let's show them. I got a breakfast burrito it's thing. Really tasty. Yes, I'm excited. Really we didn't even eat lunch. You know, I didn't realize, so. Yeah, this is really hot. What did you get? I got a pizza, rolled up pizza, basically, because I wasn't... The food here can be questionable. Rolled up pizza. Got it. So we don't actually have as much time as I thought, but that's okay. Five minutes. I need a drink from my Tasmanian cooler. Very nice. Is this the food bag? I'm recording us driving away. We're not moving. But I didn't turn this one on. Where, where's, where's my chocolate? Um, it's in the back. But I'll give it to you way. after we're done recording. Oh my goodness. So final charging stop is done we we're supposed to get to 87 percent which would get us home with 10 percent <laughs> oh a little skeleton. that's funny um hopefully but, i got that on there no. uh, you did you did um but I, but we were oh, eating oh 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 charlie's oh restaurant and bar <laughs> 
So we were eating and I figured, and we're watching El Camino. We still haven't finished it. So I figure we can just uh, get a couple extra percentages there. Um, so 89%, so we should get home theoretically with 12%, but if it's like every other time, we'll have extra, uh, but we'll see. So it's nice that we can push it a little more. This lady um, texting and driving. Yeah, that's messed up. She's not even on autopilot. We're done charging. Uh, really uneventful trip, which is good. I mean, it's good. Sorry I didn't have any drama for you guys, but uh, that's a good thing. We don't want that. It's just a nice road trip in the Tesla. Right, and like autopilot makes it so much fun. I can just like chill here and just watch the road, relax. I mean, I feel great. I feel so good. And normally at this point in a road trip, you're like, oh, you know, it's been 10 hours and you're worn out, but I don't know. I just, I'm excited to get home, see the baby, hang out. I'll have tons of energy for the rest of the night. Maybe I'll start editing tonight uh, and get these up. So what are what are your sorry, what are your impressions? Any any notes, any thoughts? I feel like I'm just used to it after North Carolina. Mm -hmm. After our other road trip because I can't imagine doing a road trip in a gas car now and like actually having to drive the whole time. I just can't even fathom what that's like cuz it's, it's if, been so long. If you've never done this, it probably sounds weird and I could I could still see the arguments of like, "Oh, you had to stop and charge and and whatever." I get it, but once you've done this, it's that's it. This is it. You don't want to do anything else. And this is where Tesla starts to win. Like people will do a test drive because they want to check it out and they're like, oh man, why did I do that? Now I need to buy this car. And that's what'll happen. If you've never been in one and you do a test drive, that's what happened to us. You'll end up getting one. They're just that good. They're so much fun. They're so convenient, low maintenance. I mean, it's just everything is, is a positive. So they're great. So we were gonna get home about 7.15 when we left the last supercharger, that's what this said. And then we see all this time added, an extra hour. And we're like, whoa, 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 what's going on here? And we look at the route and it's dark, dark red up here. Uh, and so Stephanie was looking at Google Maps and I guess there's an accident, right? Is yeah, but saw? on our way down, we noticed they closed the road. Like it didn't affect us because we were going south, but all the northbound traffic was redirected to get off. So now we're kind of scared. Yeah, we so, road is still closed. so we don't know what's going on. And we checked Google Maps and we tried to reroute via this, and it has us going all the way around, like into Novi and, and back up. And it saves us like five minutes or something. So it's not not worth it. We're just gonna go straight up. And the car would only have seven percent right. left. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's the other thing is we'd be cutting it real close on range. Um, but uh, it's just so annoying because we're like, man, this trip was so fast. It was going to be an hour less than the way down there. Um, and just out of nowhere, this happened. So uh, I don't know exactly what we're going to do, but we'll see. All right, so luckily it hasn't been that long and it's already updated. Now it says 728. So whatever this situation is, is obviously clearing up pretty quick. That's what we were hoping by the time we got around to Ann Arbor, we were going to double check everything. But now we're getting home with 21%, which is awesome. That just keeps going up even though we're going over the speed limit, so I don't know how that's possible. Um, but yeah, this looks like it's gonna be really, really awesome. All right, and again, luckily this just keeps dropping. Originally it said we would get home about 7.15, and so now we're at 7.19, so that's pretty nice that that cleared up. I, we just, we, were, we didn't notice, and all of a sudden Stephanie's like, uh, why does that say 8.10? and it had added an hour out of nowhere. Um, but it's good to know that this is always updating, you know, all the time. So you would be aware if you were in a situation like that. All right, I figure we can finish this off with a really nice sunset that we got up ahead. Um, awesome trip, very uneventful. Final stats, we're at, I mean, we got another 30 miles to go or so, but we're at 1,274 miles, so about 1,300 miles overall. Um, really easy, fun, I had a great time. I like supercharging. I don't know if that's super weird. Do you like supercharging or no? More than pumping gas. Yeah, yeah, I don't know, I like enjoy it. I actually like going there and I don't know, it's weird, but it's really fun. Um, so road trip with autopilot and all that, I mean, it's just the best, I, I don't know. I don't have all that much to say about it. It's so easy, it's a lot cheaper. What? This is so fast. Oh, no, no, okay. this is... <laughs> Slowing down. 
I do this every, this is like my way home from work. So I'm used to it. So we're gonna end up home with 20, 21% about. Maybe a little less than that. This isn't routing directly to home. Um, and we'll be home, say hi to baby. We're excited to see her again. And that's it. A very successful, fun road trip. The live streams are awesome. Uh, look for live streams. I'm gonna come up with some kind of schedule for that so I can answer a lot of questions. And that's the best way I think to answer them, doing that every week or every other week or something. Um, so overall, thank you for watching. It was a lot of fun. Uh, I like sharing this stuff with everybody. And if you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments. I'll talk to you down there. See you in the next video.